So there are three really different ways that you can use pilot practice exams or practice exams and get a lot out of it for different situations. The first is the way most people are going to use it most of the time. So they're going to do, they're going to answer the questions. They're going to see their KDRs, which is their knowledge, knowledge deficiency report by pressing quiz summary. Then they're going to go to the index of the textbook. Okay. Oh, sorry. One other step I've thrown in there is say it out loud. Don't waste those correct and incorrect responses. When it pops up and it says, hey, the correct response for, for this is this, you should say that out loud and commit it to memory. And you go, hey, the correct response for lift formula to da 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 is blah, blah, blah. Okay, and commit it to memory and do that three or four times. Don't waste those responses. Okay, so then you go to the index of the textbook. You you do all your recording and notes so you know where to find things. I'll explain that in a later video. Um, and then as you you go and do your study and use you know say it out loud and all the other study and memory techniques that I'm going to teach you in later videos. You take a break. And then you retest. Now that's the way most people are going to use it when they're learning. That's the way you're going to use it when you're trying to identify what you should study. Okay, the second way that you're going to use it is perhaps after doing it the first way, once or twice or whatever, um, you you decide, right, I want, I want to accelerate. I don't want to do all 60 questions because I know I know 48 of them. So what you do is you quickly, rapidly go through and look for the just the questions you got wrong and answer those. Okay. And that's going to allow you to go through that test in, say, five minutes instead of, you know, 25 minutes. But don't do that unless you're confident that you know all the topic. And don't do it repeatedly or you might forget what you already know. Now, the third way is, is don't answer any of the questions. So, for example, this, you might do this on the, on the morning of the exam. Or perhaps you don't have time to study today. Or you don't have time to study now, but you've got five or ten minutes. Go through don't answer anything, press quiz summary, up pops all the answers, now do you say it out loud in your memory techniques, you've got all the questions and all the answers right there in front of you, so use them and do a quick study, and now maybe you already know, say 40 of them, well, just look for the 12, the 10, the 5, whatever, you don't know, and use that as your third study technique. 